Hey guys and welcome back to the happy heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see my grocery haul. I had to get so many things it felt like and I didn't have enough time to go to the store and I don't know why I was just having a hard time this week. So I did Walmart pickup for the first time. It was actually a really smooth process. Um, they didn't end up having to substitute anything really. Um, like quantities, they made stuff like a little bit smaller, but they still gave me the same amount, so it was fine. And I was actually really happy with it. It was super easy. They put it in your car. I really like that. And so yeah, I will uh, show you guys what I got. This was a shopping haul for nine or ten meals, like dinners, a couple of lunches, and um, some potluck items that I had to take. I think three or four potluck items that I had to take to church actually tonight. So I will show you guys my grocery haul. All right guys, so let's get started on what all of this is and what we're using it for. It's about, I wanna say this actual total was about $200 and I had got some stuff yesterday. So I wanna say my groceries were probably more around like 250-ish. So, and that include a couple household items that I needed. So um, really we probably stayed about $200 and this is, uh, nine meals worth of groceries plus um, I have to bring three dishes to an event plus a couple lunches as well so we did fairly good so I'll show you guys what I got let's start here with the drinks I went ahead and got some orange juice because I'm hosting a sleepover for the youth group and um, I got some pull free orange juice and my guys love that. I went ahead and got some juicy juice. I bought one of these the other day and it was almost half gone. So when I was doing my order, I said, well, apparently my son likes it. So another apple juice came to my house. These are my favorite waters. Sorry, I'm drinking a Diet Coke. But these are my favorite waters. These are my favorite kinds. The wild cherry, I like a little bit better than the black cherry. Um, but these waters are only like 70 cents. And oh, I just really, really like them. On to all this stuff. Um, I ran out of foil literally yesterday, so grabbed that. Um, got some more Crisco because I ran out yesterday when I was making some cookies and I need to make some bread. So um, this isn't a normal thing that I buy. I actually got some new powdered sugar because I was going to make some cookies and I just knew my powdered sugar was really old. So I got some new ones. Went ahead and got some pancake mix because I'm hosting that sleepover, so I got to feed them breakfast. And got syrup as well. Uh, this is my favorite dry shampoo so far. Um, I've tried a couple different kinds and I really needed some and I used this like crazy and it was awesome, guys. If you are in the market for a dry shampoo, I have used a bunch and this one's the best. As far as salad dressings go, I needed one for a meal and one to take with me because I'm taking a salad um, to a church event tonight. I also needed this kind of salad dressing. This is what kind of salad dressing I use in my pasta salad. Um, it just gives it that extra something and people really like it. Um, I went ahead and got some ranch dip for the same church event that I'm bringing the salad to, but they gave me this huge one, so I don't know how that worked out, but um, I'm not going to complain. My guys will eat that. Uh, I'm bringing these rolls to my church event tonight. I haven't made these in, oh gosh, Ryan was like a baby, so years and years and years, probably eight, nine years now. But I really didn't want to mess with making some bread because I have so much to do today. So I'm hoping these work out good. Went ahead and got three Lunchables for Ryan for lunch. He's been having a little bit of a, I don't want to do school time. So I'm kind of bribing him with Lunchables and that's been working so far. Uh, these are my favorite brand of eggs other than the fact of I'll go and get them from a local farm here. Um, I just didn't have time to run over there because you have to call ahead to the farm. But other than that, these are my favorite kind to get. 
back here, I got some parsley flakes and some lemon extract. The lemon extract is for some cookies that I make and I'll put the link above. They are really good. They're like a Christmas cookie, but um, I'm just going to make some for just because. Went ahead and grabbed uh, some corn tortillas, red enchilada sauce, and uh, these chili beans. And this is all for a enchilada recipe that my bestie showed me, and I'll leave a link above. And it's so easy and so good, kid friendly. It's it's so good. Uh, the egg noodles back there are for a noodle bake that I'm going to make that I haven't filmed on my channel, so I'll probably film it when I make it this week. But it's a Pioneer Woman recipe. My guys just love it, and I needed a lot of really quick recipes, so that's what you'll notice in this. Um, I got these four things of whipping cream, and I actually used the grocery pickup like I told you. I ordered just the tall ones, but they gave me four pints instead. So it probably is just what they had. Um, I know for sure I need like two of these. I wasn't sure exactly how much because I have two different recipes that call for it. But better be safe than sorry. On to the meat. So this is the meat I ordered for the all the recipes. Um, I got one ground turkey, two ground beef. I have another ground beef in the freezer. And this, if you guys have been around for a while, you know this is my favorite kind to buy because of the packaging. Not for anything else because I feel like it's so easy to work with. I know that's dumb. Went ahead and grabbed a thing of bacon for that sleepover that I told you all about. I have one, but um, I was afraid I would use it all or I'd need another one and I didn't want to not have any. Went ahead and grabbed some pork chops. I'm going to be making some velvet pork chops. Um, I saw the recipe on Shelly's Home Life, been wanting to make it, and so I'll probably film that for you guys as well. And then I grabbed um, just some chicken breasts, and I'm going to cut these up, and they should go for at least two to three meals. I have some red potatoes here because I'm making a surprise soup for my husband. It's actually his favorite soup. It's like a chicken noodle and it calls for potatoes like this. So I don't normally buy this many potatoes, but I'm trying to be a good wife. So back in the back, this candied um, pecans and cranberries is something I actually chop up finer and I put it on my salads Y'all, everybody loves my salads. I'll film it for you. So if there's a link available, I'll put it up here. But you guys, I get so many compliments on my salad. Oof. People that they're asking me to bring salad. Like it's crazy. I um, went ahead and grabbed some croutons. Um, some pasta because I just have been so busy lately and needed some kid-friendly easy meals. Um, the fettuccine is actually for the chicken noodle soup that I'm making and I always get thin spaghetti pasta. I actually think I had tons of pasta but just in case. This bow tie pasta is for the pasta salad that I'm taking to church tonight and y'all like this is the best pasta salad. Last time I took it to this particular event everybody was raving about it. I'll leave the link above Oh my gosh, it's so good and easy. So this time I'm actually doing the mini ones because I thought that'd be cute. This is my favorite spaghetti sauce. I actually saw it hauled in a bunch of Costco hauls, decided to try it, and now it's my new fave. Love that stuff. Um, got two tomato sauces because I always need this on hand. I make a lot of Mexican rice because we have Taco Tuesdays. And my Mexican rice, which I should probably film for you guys, is... Um, calls for two of the little cans, but this one big can will work perfect. So I got those. If we come over here, yes, that's a chess set, but around it is two things of frozen broccoli. I always keep this on hand because it's so easy. Throw it in, no big deal. I don't think I showed you guys. I got two sides. Um, these are my favorite because they're cheap and easy. My husband and my kid like them. Um, I am not 
I'm not a huge fan, but I usually don't eat a lot of rice, so um, for the three of us it works out. If you had a bigger family though, you'd probably need two of these, but they're still, I make it in the microwave, no joke, and it's awesome. This is the way I make chicken stock. I usually just put a cup of water to one of these cubes, and this whole thing costs 78 cents, and that is how I make chicken stock for soup, for anything. Plus, um, in my uh, Mexican rice, I use two of these as well, and oh, it's just good brand, easy, good price. Love this stuff. That's why I got three of them. The cheese, one of them is for the noodle bake, and the Pioneer Roman is always an advocate of like grate your own cheese, so I usually don't, but I thought, you know what, maybe I can. And then the Colby Jack cheese is actually for my pasta salad, and that is one of the yummy things in it. I cube up this. To the other dairy products we got here is I have some Fiesta Blend um, cheese. This is actually for those enchiladas I told you guys about, and we'll use it probably in a couple different recipes, plus taco night, things like that. I always like to have extra on hand as well. Um, Sour cream, this is for taco night and for the noodle bake. My husband likes sour cream on his tacos, so I always make sure I buy a bigger one um, so there's some left over for him. Uh, Parmesan cheese, because my kid is obsessed with Parmesan cheese. Uh, the This kind of Parmesan cheese I actually needed for a recipe. Um, a lunch that we usually do a lot after church is um, some fettuccine alfredo. My guys just love it love it love it love it and so I usually don't make it very often because it's probably not the healthiest thing for you but this time I just needed some quick and easy meals so fettuccine alfredo it is if we move on to all the fresh stuff on this side of the table carrots for the soup and then my guys will literally take these out and eat them like Bugs Bunny. So I got a big bag. Uh, broccoli crowns. I got these for a veggie tray plus to put in that salad that I told you guys about. Uh, some cucumbers and some zucchini. Um, one zucchini to eat and one to put in my salad. Cucumbers, um, one for a salad. One for something else and one to eat. That one's a little soft right there. Hmm. Uh, and we move on to tomatoes. One to snack because I friggin' love these tomatoes. Uh, one for the pasta salad and one for the regular salad. These are the favorite way I've been buying grapes lately. The, these are the organic seedless grapes. I like that they come in this tub and they're always good. Uh, the thing I don't like about grapes is I hate tasting them in the store and so, and I hate that they're like hard to store, hard to get to, and these ones are actually bigger. I got a cantaloupe for a fruit salad for the morning of the sleepover and that's what actually the grapes are for too, um, but we'll probably eat some as well. These are my fave. I always get blackberries. I always just snack on them throughout the day. I uh, went ahead and got some spring mix for that salad that I'm taking to church tonight and got some romaine to kind of mix in together. I usually don't do that, but I thought it would be a good idea. I've been watching a lot of vegan things and they mix a lot of that and I just thought I wanted to try it. Went ahead and got a red onion. This is for my pasta salad. And a thing of yellow onions, and that is for a recipe, but I don't remember what recipe off the top of my head. Hmm, interesting. Over here we have green onions. This is for that Pioneer Woman noodle bake, and I don't only need a few, but you know, green onions, they're cheap. And, um, they come in a bigger pack. I got two things of celery because I like celery as long as you peel this part of it. And so I got two things of celery for one for, um, I need some for the soup I'm making for the base and I need some for a veggie tray. And so I just thought I'll get two and then I'll have some I can snack on. Went ahead and also got 
um, some baby carrots because my guys love carrots and for that veggie tray. I grabbed these russet potatoes for a recipe that is quick and easy. It's a crock pot recipe where you make some shredded chicken and you have it over baked potatoes. So I went ahead and grabbed those as well. And I, like I said, I usually don't buy a lot of potatoes or haven't been for like the last year, but needed some quick meals. I have some, uh, another thing of drinking water. I really like to have a good stock of this. You guys know I like to have like four stocked up. Um, but this, no joke guys, I don't know how good this actual water is because it's just like the Walmart brand. But still, it was like $1.74 or something ridiculous for all these. So I was like, what? So just grabbed another one. My husband was like, yeah, just get another one. You never know. I said, okay. So I wanted to show you guys my bare fridge. This is crazy, huh? It's ridiculous. I actually bought another milk. I always buy this organic milk because it stays fresher longer. And I bought one of those yesterday and I bought the orange juice yesterday and I bought the apple juice yesterday and you can see it's halfway gone. Those are our leftovers from the other night. Um, and I bought eggs yesterday, guacamole. And um, you can see I've been eating these this morning. But yeah, my fridge is very, very bare. I also bought that lettuce yesterday as well, so. I usually put a bunch of water in here, so I gotta stock that up. And I did have one thing of bacon. My mom sent Ryan all of these Kit Kats, so that's his crazy stash right there. Interestingly enough, if he puts them in the refrigerator, he forgets that he has them, so. And I will show you guys, this is my freezer. So I already had some bread, as you can see, I have to thaw out. I already had one thing of ground beef and I have a couple things of chicken thighs. Um, but it's actually pretty bare, but my freezer is not very big, so it's hard to store a lot of things in here. I did buy bananas yesterday and I have to go get like some apples and some cuties, but I totally forgot, so. Those are my bananas, and I always buy the greenest ones I can, and I literally bought these greener than green yesterday, and they're already almost ripe. Thank you all so much for coming by and seeing my grocery haul, and I will link all the recipes that I talked about um, when I went around and showed you all the food down below, or um, the eyes will come up when they're supposed to. So be looking for those and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you don't miss any of the fun and I will see you guys again. Bye for now.